Subaru begins manufacturing bicycles, and their cars are going on a diet, and Subaru is making wind turbines. Sorry, it's been a weird week for Subaru, but some news from Subaru and WRC that I haven't heard about yet that I'm sure will make it all better. Hi everyone, I'm Euro Jackson. Welcome to our seventh episode of Money Shot. released an article this week giving a top 10 list of future collectible cars. Slotting in at number 7 was the 2009 Impreza WRX STI. AOL Auto cites unpopularity of the hatchback as a reason it will be a collectible in the future. Maybe it will be collectible because starting in 2014, Subarus will begin the equivalent of the Atkins diet. According to nickhan.co.jp and translated by NASIOC member Flying Pig, Subaru will begin using more high tensile steel which allows car manufacturers to use thinner steel plates while maintaining overall strength. The weight savings comes in response to fuel regulations in the US, Japan, and Europe. 2011 marks the first step in shedding the weight, where vehicles will drop 10% and the other 5% in 2014. For those of you who didn't know, Subaru makes more than just cars. Subaru's parent company, Fuji Heavy Industries, got off the ground producing airplanes in World War II, but switched to more benign things like cars after the war. Treehugger.com reports that FHI's latest and most noble endeavor is a wind turbine they call the 82.0, which is designed to function even in very low wind. One possible purpose for the new turbine? Powering some of Subaru's most recent new models, the all-electric Stella and the R1e. Subaru's goal seems to not only be to put cleaner cars on the road, but provide cleaner power to charge them. What we'd really like to see is turbines in a blue and gold paint scheme. Subaru announced last week that they will begin offering a bicycle. Yes, one of those two-wheeled things we rode as a kid. The Subaru XB, as they're calling it, will combine mountain and road bike features. The bike will be limited to only 99 units and costs around 4,000 US American dollars. So what's this awesome news about Subaru and the WRC? I know I'm excited. Find out after this. This Money Shot is brought to you by Deechworks, offering drop-in fitment, high-flow fuel injectors for your Subi, as well as other makes and models. Upgrading your turbo? Make sure you've got the right injectors with help from Deechworks. On the web at dwinjectors.com. You all right, buddy? <sighs> all right. Well, Eurojax just found out that Subaru has pulled out of the World Rally Championship for the 2009 season. Subaru cited the economic downturn affecting the entire automotive industry as their reasoning for the departure. This isn't the first major blow for motorsports recently, as Suzuki left the WRC earlier in the week, and Honda withdrew from Formula One. We're not sure what this means for Subaru fans, or for the future of Subaru's rally-inspired designs, but we're sure the World Rally Championship will continue and be just as entertaining without the blue and yellow. I guess that's it for this money shot. Eurojax has apparently left the building. Join us next week for our Christmas special. For a disgruntled Eurojax, I'm Alacrity024. See ya. Oh man, and Honda withdrew from F1? God, my universe is crumbling.